Well, welcome back to What's Matter. We're in an attic today where we're going to start our series on measures that people need to complete to do to make their home more energy efficient while in the attic. And most people, when they jump into their attic, first thing they think about is insulation. But we need to tap the brakes there and back up just a little bit and look at the air sealing stuff that we need to do and the duct sealing things that we need to do if, if your ducts are in the attic. So we're going to be looking at all those things in our series on attics. First things you want to look for when you get in your attic is what we call a chase. And this is going to be a, an area that leads from the attic down to behind your walls. And most of the time behind these walls is not insulated. So you want to seal up those spots with a piece using foam board and spray foam. But do you want to look out for what if you got a hot flu? Or in this picture, you're seeing a fireplace flu pipe. It could be a water heater. And you just don't want to put that foam board in contact with that hot pipe, which could be a fire hazard. Other penetrations that you got that go through the ceiling and drywall. And then you've also got something to go through the top plate. It's like you got a bath fan. You got your light fixture hanging there. You got your HVAC boots. All these things are where air is leaking into the house and leaking out of the house. So you want to seal those up using spray foam. And you got a whole house fan. And these are going to be, the louvers are what are going to be leaky on these. So we'll pull that fan up, put a piece of foam board down, that pink foam board you see. We'll foam around the edges a bit, put the fan, then put some insulation back on top of that, and then put the fan back down. So then you got it air sealed and you got it insulated. It's the can light. You know, a lot of these, you're going to see cobwebs hanging around that can light. You see that, you know you got a leaky can light. So you're going to want to take that, that little cover down, and you're going to caulk in between the, the can and the ceiling drywall. And you're going to, then you can install this, this, uh, this retrofit kit. It's a little LED wafer. Pick those up just about anywhere, and that's going to seal up not only the can, but the whole can to the ceiling drywall, but it's also going to seal up all the holes that are in that can. This is an attic knee wall. You see there on the left where you get the, that dirty insulation. That told us, hey, there's something going on back behind this. When we lift that insulation up, what we're looking at there in the middle is the tub. And they didn't put anything between the attic and that tub, but that insulation. Well, that's not going to stop air from moving in and out of there. So we cover up that insulation with insulated foam board. And we seal up the edges up. Here's another big air passageway is under walls in the attic. So that top image you're seeing there is just where the insulation is blown up to the, it's on the flat ceiling, it blows up to the edge of that wall. But then if you look down the bottom left there, you pull that insulation back, then you stick your head down there and you look underneath and you can see underneath the wall, which is the floor above and the ceiling below, and there's not any insulation at all in there. So then you wanna come back and seal up that edge. Every one of those or slash sealing joist cavities, you want, to, you want to seal them off using foam board and spray foam. Then as you're leaving your attic, you want to check out your, your attic pull down stairs. A lot of times you'll see that, that that cover just doesn't fit real tight. So you can get you one of these attic tents, install it, and that'll help cut down on how much air is leaking around that opening. And also insulate it for you. Thanks for tuning in to Watts Matter and getting the basics on air sealing. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so that you won't miss our video, upcoming videos on insulation.